good morning students today i will explain you second chapter of geography atmosphere the earth has four realms as you can see in this diagram lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere now lithosphere means the solid portion of the earth that means the land atmosphere means the blanket of air that surrounds the earth hydrosphere comprises all the water bodies on the earth and biosphere comprises the living world all the life forms are present in this part of the earth now the blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere and in this chapter we will study about atmosphere how is this atmosphere held in its place it is held in its place due to the earth's gravitational pull and this atmosphere is made up of various gases water vapor dust particles and some impurities are also present here now this is the composition of atmosphere the as you can see according to this diagram 78% of all the gases is nitrogen 21% is oxygen and the remaining 1% comprises of helium carbon dioxide hydrogen and other gases as there is no distinct boundary between the atmosphere and the outer space its exact thickness cannot be known approximately the atmosphere extends up to 1600 km above the surface of the earth now i will explain you the structure of atmosphere as you can see in this diagram there are five layers of atmosphere troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere or ionosphere and exosphere now troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere and it extends to a height of 8 km at the poles and around 18 km at the equator it is the densest part of the atmosphere now why does it extend to 8 km at the poles and 18 km at the equator the answer is at the equator due to high insulation of the sun there are strong convection currents of heat generated due to which the air goes to a higher altitude now at the poles the insulation is less due to which convection currents are too weak to rise higher now all the weather phenomena such as cloud formation fog rainfall snowfall storms lightning they all take place in this layer of the atmosphere that is troposphere now in this layer the temperature of the air decreases as the height increases it decreases at the rate of 1 degree celsius for every 165 meter and this is known as normal lapse rate now we come to the second layer of the atmosphere that is the stratosphere this layer lies above the troposphere and it extends to a height of around 50 km above the surface of the earth now there is a narrow boundary that separates this stratosphere from troposphere this is known as tropopause now the temperature in the lower part of stratosphere it remains constant and as we go higher and higher there is a slow or gradual increase in the temperature very little dust and water vapor are found no clouds are found in this part of the atmosphere this is the reason why jet planes they find it very convenient to fly in this layer of the atmosphere stratosphere also contains ozone we know ozone absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun the next layer is mesosphere this layer lies just above the stratosphere the narrow boundary that separates mesosphere from stratosphere is called as stratopause in this layer 
the temperature of the air decreases with the increasing height meteors also burn in this layer due to friction upon entering the earth's atmosphere from the space the next layer is thermosphere or ionosphere this lies above the mesosphere and extends to a height of around 450 km here temperature increases rapidly with increasing height the boundary between the thermosphere and mesosphere is called as mesopause this layer also contains electrically charged ions these ions reflect radio waves back to the surface of the earth and due to this reason wireless communication is possible on earth due to the presence of these charged ions this layer is also known as ionosphere now we come to the last layer exosphere it is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere and is called as exosphere it extends to a height of around 1600 km and finally it merges with the interplanetary space this layer is extremely rarefied rarefied means thin very little is known about this layer because of lack of research